West Ham have not finished shopping just yet. After finally upgrading the final two pieces, the weak pieces of the defence with uh, Wan-Bissaka and John Clare to Debo, it seems that Tim and Loppy want to go that one step further and make sure that we've got strength in depth across the team with some key positions being looked at next. Plenty of that to discuss. Um, loads of transfer news, actually. I expected it to quiet down. It hasn't. But this is the Bobby Moore stand. My name's Gary, and this is my transfer roundup. Um, the channel now has over 4,600 subscribers. And if you'd like to help me grow this new channel, please help me by subscribing uh, to the Bobby Moore stand on YouTube. Hit the bell notification icon. Uh, there's no cost applied to it. Um, an important message for those of you who have subscribed already and have left me lovely comments. Thank you so much for what you've done. It's been been amazing, really sort of inspiring for me and uh, given me the motivation to do more and more, which I will be doing. Okay, so thank you again. Really appreciate it. Um, and finally, please, if you could give this video a like because it helps other people find my channel. All right, thank you so much for everything. And uh, I'll stop saying thanks now and get on with the video. Um, by the way, finally, leave me a comment. I'll try to respond to all of them. Uh, best I can. On with the show. Last night was a, a debacle, frankly. Uh, Wan-Bissaka again was on, then it was off. I mean, we even had the, um, you know, here we go from Romano, and then he deleted it. He deleted the tweet, which is uh, which is not great. Uh, uh, Sean Whetstone came out and said that it hadn't quite been done. Well, we heard today that I think four or five hours ago, he did finally sign. So wan is done. Because uh, honestly, I think that's tried everyone's patience, that uh, that transfer. It's been it's been monumentally troublesome, hasn't it? Um, that was after signing Jean-Claire to Debo. Um, he's got an amazing backstory, by the way. I, I, I never knew this, but um, he was told age 10 he'd never, he'd never walk again. He was in a really bad car, car accident. So he had to basically learn to walk again. And it, it, it just shows what a resilient kind of character we've got there because he not only you know learned to walk again, he went on to play for Barcelona, not very many times. But, he, he, you know, and in his own words, he actually, he actually said that he let himself down at Barcelona, right? He wasn't in the right mindset. And I think he's learned from that. And hopefully he'll bring those uh, learnings to us, right? So, um, but yeah, I think we've got a good one there. I know we've got a good one there. Um, and to have Juan Basaka replace Soufal, Sadibo and Kilman in the middle, I think you're now going to see the best of, of, of Kilman and uh, Emerson. We never had a weakness down that side anyway. So that is looking like an all-round good defence now and hopefully Loppy can get what he wants, which is to not concede goals and to be tight and to have possession and to force teams um, out wide rather than through the middle, which is where we were getting done quite a lot last year, if you remember. Yeah, so um, on with the transfer news, the new links. So some of them are not new, some of them are. Firstly, this is reported in many, many places now, so it seems to be gathering a little bit of heat, and that is Tammy Abraham's uh, 25 million from Roma. He wants to go to AC Milan, we've heard this before, of course he does, he wants Champions League. That's fine. If they don't want you though, and they ain't gonna buy you, then you're gonna have to come to West Ham, mate. Apparently Bournemouth were interested in, in him as well, so it's us in a battle with Bournemouth. Hmm. I hope we can win that one. Um, a new one that you might not have heard so far. Ever Nielsen, a 24-year-old, um, really mean, sinister-looking striker from Brazil. Uh, of course he is with a name like Ever Nielsen. Uh, 60 goals and 21 assists in 154 games since joining Porto. Um, he really looks like a ferocious striker. He genuinely does. Um, and I think this is a sign... You know, these two links, it's a... It, it's showing our intent, right? It's a statement of intent from West Ham because Ings has already been told, you know, to find a new club. Not that he can do it on his own, but hopefully, you know, we can help him do that. We might end up having to pay some of his wages, I assume, because he never should have got put on that enormous deal in the first place, let's be honest. Um, and Wolves are interested in signing Mickey, which I, I didn't see that one coming. Because I think that's probably the last time we'd get a fee for Mickey. And maybe you'd get a decent one. But he's 34 years old, right? He's knocking on. Um, I, I personally think it might be his, his, his last season for us this year anyway. Right? 
So, um, so there's lots of activity in the striker department. We clearly haven't finished. We clearly want to offer a variety in attack and not just a one-size-fits-all approach, which is what we've had to put up with for a long, long time now. Um, Centre-backs, yeah. I mean, we want another one, right? We're, we're linked with several. Uh, Zuma, as you know, failed his CAT scan the other day. Um, he's, um, he's likely to have a payoff. Um, I, I, this was mind blowing. We all knew his knees were shattered, right? I, I've got the photo. I should have got it right of his, of his actual scan for his knees. They're in a mess, right? There's a lot of metal in there, a lot of metal inside his knees, and that's one thing you don't you don't look for in knees, right? Um, so he, um, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised that they're surprised that he's got knee issues. I thought it was going to be one of those deals where it'd be a kind of pay as you play, and he would. Um, It'd be a big name, an iconic name, which he is. Probably the biggest name in that league. I know Saudi have got bigger names, but Dubai need to grow their brand as well. And I assume that's what they're doing, right? Um, so I'm surprised that this one has fallen through. I mean, surely they knew. Otherwise, what Zuma have they been watching, if they've been watching him at all? Uh, Nathan Zeze, 19 of Nantes. Uh, another up-and-coming centre-half. 17 million uh, has been knocked back apparently by Nantes. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know how, how um, true that is, but that's what's being reported today. Uh, the other remaining links are Omar, Umar Sule of Red Bull Salzburg, heard nothing on that. Logan Costa of Toulouse, uh, no update on that. And finally, the one that I sort of favour is Chalabar of Chelsea. If you're going to go for someone who He's, he's got Premier League experience. He'll be a very good backup. And he's an, a, a player that's got some growing to do, right? So he'd be a perfect backup to uh, a Premier League squad, in my opinion. Um, midfielders. Now, one that seems to be... I mentioned this several shows ago. Then it all went quiet, and it seems to be coming back across several sources now. And that is uh, Sergio Roberto of Barcelona. And the main... You know, the attraction for him, he, he, just to remind you, he's a, he's a, a tricky... Uh, a tricky player who plays attacking midfield uh, quite fast, uh, very good, you know, all the, all the body swerves and, and fades that you, that, that you can shake a stick at. But not only that, he can play at left back and right back as well, believe it or not. So it gives us other options. It gives us another pacey option for Emerson. It gives an, another option for wan -Bissaka. So that's why I think there could be something in that. But he was only playing for Barcelona last year. And he's going to have options, right? He's going to have options. So I know he's 32, but again, as a squad player, that's 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 a good person. You know, like Rodriguez, that is that is experience is what we're going for, clearly. Uh, Youssef Fafana is of Monaco, one we should have bought last summer. Um, he wants to go to Milan as well, apparently. You know, with Tammy Abrahams. I don't know, maybe they can arrange a package deal. But anyway, of course he does, because they're in the Champions League and he wants to play in the Champions League. Well, sorry, mate. Why don't you come to West Ham and you can get us into the Champions League instead? Or at least the Europa League. Um, he's a top-quality player, and I'd love to see him come. If he came, I think you would. that would see um, that would signal that Ward Prowse is perhaps not in the plans. But I think Ward Prowse is in the plans. That's, that's just the feeling that I get, right? Um... Matt O'Reilly looks to be Brighton bound now from Celtic. We're not showing, I don't think we've shown any more interest in that. And Carlos Sole of uh, PSG, a 27 year old uh, deep lying midfielder. And this is what I started to think, you know, with Sergi Roberto and with uh, Sole, this one here, I think both of those players um, could potentially provide some relief for Paqueta. And you've got a plan. I think Tim and Loppy are actually leaving no stone unturned to put us in a safe place should anything happen and i mean injuries i mean lifetime bans and stuff like that right you never know what life's going to throw at us this season and this season is so important for us to be successful i mean it's his first season we've got to be successful because you know you don't get very long in premier league football right the um uh, by the way, one one other thing. I, I mean, it was reported in several places yesterday that the Duran deal is has collapsed. Um, I don't know how true that is. <clears throat> I still think that's going to come to fruition later in the window um, when Villa are desperate to get him off their books. But again, I, I don't know. That's just my hunch. Um, today, this is how quickly this stuff moves. You've got several you know, outlets saying that it's back on. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know what to believe. But anyway, keep that one ticking over in the background. Um, uh, finally, we've seen a couple of the other day in the last show. I mentioned, you know, uh, a, a couple of players who went out on um, on loan. A couple of youngsters. Um, we had Patrick Kelly, and we had the young striker whose name eludes me now. That's why I'm, I'm in an R in, right? Um, well, George Earthy is the latest, and he's been told he's not going to, he can't be promised game time. Well, look, no one can be promised game time, to be fair. Um, um, but what he needs is a, a good loan. Uh, and the thing I like about these loans so far is they seem to be picking the right sort of clubs for them where they are going to get game time. And he's being linked with Bristol City, right? George Earthy's being linked with Bristol City. And look, let's hope he can go there, have a season. Remember back, right, to Rio, who went to Bournemouth, to Lampard, I think, who also went to Bournemouth, if memory serves me, right? Joey Cole, don't know where, did he go anywhere? I don't know. But anyway, these players are, you know, they really benefited from that one year out on loan because it was a really well-picked, you know, well-identified loan. The manager was going to greet them and use them, right? They wanted them, not just as a squad filler. They were going to actually make use of them. So they get to play almost a whole season with real grown men. And it makes a massive difference, as we've seen with Potsy, who's come back, right? So I, I, I think that is a perfect, perfect solution for um, for some of these kids. Um, George Earthy, again, he's he, he one hell of a talent. But I think over a year... He can grow physically as well, right? And um, and he's going to get knocked about quite a lot, isn't he? And he'll learn how to cope with that because there's nothing to say that you have to be a big lump, right? Nothing at all. Um, there's been you know some great players who are, who are, who are sort of waif-like. But you've got to learn how to handle it. You've got to learn how to handle it and you've got to learn how to avoid um, uh, you know people who are trying to chop your knees off and stuff like that. And I think that's what he would learn. It'd be really valuable to him. Um, wouldn't be surprised if a couple of others um, joined him, a couple of other the youngsters, right? And what he says, all these different um, transfer links, it just tells you pretty much that Loppy and Tim, they're pretty ruthless. You know, it's it's rumoured heavily that Mavropanos is seen enough and he wants him out. Well, I don't find that surprising because Mavropanos, he does things that cost goals. I mean, the other day, you know when Emerson ridiculously backed off against that uh, winger who crossed the ball in for... Uh, for Crystal Palace, for, the, for, for their equaliser. Was it Crystal Palace? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Um, well, he was, if you look at the replay of that, you'll notice that, that Mavropanos, he was the wrong side of the man, and he had hold of his shirt. It could have been a penalty had the guy not scored in the back. And that's just typical of the sloppiness that Mavropanos brings. I really like him. He's an enormous physical specimen, a magnificent man, right? But he just doesn't seem to have it where it matters and that is in calmness and positioning and everything else that you need to be a top top defender and I don't think Agued does either and I did read the other day that both Mavropanos and Agued were told that they can leave I think it's no secret that Agued wants to leave anyway right but Mavropanos um, that was a surprise to me you know only 12 months after he's joined um, it's just it's just we've come to the conclusion is not what we need, and we're going to try and move him on. We will find a buyer. He will have a decent career, but this just shows you that Tim is ruthless. If he doesn't see someone fitting into his style or being able to deliver his style, he will ship him out, right? Um, and that is, I think, all of the transfer news. It brings you right up to date as far as I'm concerned. Bound to change later. Before I go, uh, again, please, 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 subscribe to the channel. Um the Bobby Moore stand on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. By the way, a uh, little bit, the set is not quite finished yet. I mean, it's looking a little bit better. My neon sign is only doing green and red at the moment. There's not much blue. You'll notice it's a little bit off colored in the middle, right? That's where the blue kind of works. And then, yeah, it's a it's painful, right? So that's gonna have to go back. They're gonna have to fix that. Um, so I'm gonna have a big void there for a while while it while it gets fixed. Um, I haven't decided what colour to have it. I like the blue. When the blue works, it actually looks really good. Look, let me show you. Let me show you. Look, it's like half and half at the moment, right? So if I go um, there, red, red, you can turn it down a bit. Oh, no, flickers. Yeah. Uh, Got to be very careful with the old flickering. But if I go to the one that goes half red and half blue, look, that one there, 
right? And then pump that one up a bit. What I'd like is the right hand side. I'd like that all the way across. And I really should be able to achieve that. If only I sent me a bloody sign that worked, all right? So anyway, look, here's what it is. Here's what it is. I'll never get back to uh, green now, will I? Yeah, there we go. So, um, so enough of that. I'm going to be, you know, I've got so many bits and pieces. I don't want it to look cluttered at the back. I'm trying to make it look a little bit, um, you know, so as it's interesting but not over the top. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I've and um, and yeah, another thing I've I'm I'm doing with this video as well is I'm sitting here recording this with a couple of fans on and an air conditioner. It's really noisy, right? So I'm going to do some post-production processing, right? And I'm going to actually remove all that fan noise. So I hope by the time you listen to this, it's lovely and quiet. Let me know what you think. Be a nightmare if that don't work. Anyway, look, until next time, I think we've got Villa coming up. Going to have a show talking about the build-up to that. More transfer news. It's bound to evolve as it moves on. Um, I'm done. See you soon. Come on, you irons.